to everyone. Today, I'm going to be telling a story. The story is called Luna and the Bottle of Starlight. One day, by the side of the road, Luna found a bottle of starlight. It shimmered and glistened in pinpricks of light and whispering glimmers. It was smoky blue and beautiful. Luna leaned over. She wanted to see it more closely. But when she tried to pick up the bottle, it slipped from her fingers and smashed. With a wide giggle, the star scraped from the glass and escaped in the sky. Luna cried and leapt as she tried to catch the stars. The laugh from her from this place is so high in the air. From above, Luna's dancing made her look like angry little ants. They knew she couldn't reach them and they were happy to be free. For the stars had been so long in the bottle that the air around them felt cool and wide. They gleamed. It was so nice to be in a vast black universe with space to twinkle and breathe. The, sh glass, the bottle lay in dark shards of glass at Luna's feet. She scooped them up and put them in her pocket. She felt a need to hide what she had done. She didn't know who the stars belonged to, and the owner would be angry when they found out what had happened. Perhaps if she could catch them, she could put them in her pockets. Her glance fell upon a long vine hanging quietly on a nearby tree. Being a thrifty elf, she found it no trouble to fashion a lasso and throw it high in the air. But the lasso was lazy and limp. It plummeted to the ground in a matter of moments. Next, her eyes wandered to a giant tree. Perhaps if she leapt and caught them with her fingers, she thought. The coming high in the limbs of the tree made her realize that she was no more iry the vine had been. Lacking wings, she topped into the earth like a heavy sack. The stars twittered and the birds sniggered mirthfully. The ladybugs rumbled sly little laughs. It felt like no one would help Luna return the stars and all were having a good joke at her expense. Luna sat on a stump and began to cry. At just that moment, a rabbit poked his head out of the bushes and sniffed the air. It had heard Luna sobbing and wanted to know what had happened. Why are you crying? The rabbit asked the elf. I found a bottle and I accidentally dropped it. All the stars escaped. Ah, but that is no reason to cry, the rabbit said. What could this crying do? Perhaps if I cry enough, I will make a lake and float high enough to catch the stars. Ah, but it seems to me there are too many. You can't pick up all the grains of sand on a beach. You can't drink all the water in a sea. You will not be able to catch all those stars and put them back. Then, what do I do? Luna said plaintively. Then a sudden passion overtook her. Ah, she stamped her foot. I wish I could take time back. I wish I had never touched that bottle. Oh, but you can't, the rabbit said. Once it is, it just is. You can't change it. Like wind and the sunrise, like love and loss. It just is. You've got to find another way. Luna put her hands into her pocket. She could feel the shards of glass pressing into her fingers. Well, what do I do with this bottle now? It's all broken. It won't work anymore. But the clever rabbit who twitched his nose, nodded goodbye, and disappeared into the bushes. Luna was alone. She sat down in the mossy grass and took out the shards of glass. She began to play with them. She found out she could make a skyscraper, a window, and a puddle. But when
when she fashioned them in the shape of a mirror, something magical happened. All from the bushes all around, an army of snakes slid, slid in. The slime was a magical kind. The, their slime glued the pieces together. The bottle was now a bottle, but it was also a mirror. The mirror let her touch stars. The stars giggled and spun. The heavens revolved. Something had been broken, but something beautiful had happened. The moral of the story is, instead of living in guilt, we should learn from our past and look forward into the future. The end. I hope you enjoy my story.